would uh, mm. tricky. I like to have a cold, wintry day. Wonderful. Okay, drinks. start with the questions, Mary <laughs> or Teresa. Okay. No, that's good. Okay, not okay. Not good you're going to give us a little history of uh, Ambrose. Oh. He died um, in 1943. Three. And he was 59. That's very young. Uh, he was uh, diagnosed with cancer. Actually, around Christmas time, he was having a trouble with his throat. So it wasn't long before? No. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, in fact, he had his tonsils out. And uh, in those days, I guess they didn't even suspect cancer at that time. But anyway, it, his throat was bad, bad, bad. And uh, the doctor uh, finally uh, uh, diagnosed uh, cancer in March. That was from from December to March. And uh, he was a smoker, right? He, he was a smoker and really a very heavy, heavy drinker right? too. He drank and he smoked. Now, did but he drink like in the morning? Oh no! It was always oh, no. Oh my! He wasn't so a wasn't serious it? alcohol. Oh no! He no, because he was so successful. Oh, he was so successful. He was a wonderful one. He just, he was just a happy, happy Irishman, and he had loads and loads <laughs> of friends, and he was a party man and a. And a disciplinarian. A bit. Yeah, well, yeah. well he, we, yes, we were, we were a little afraid of him. Although, <laughs> although my older, my older siblings had the, you know, Mary. I mean, uh, where is uh, here I am. Mary, <laughs> Mary and Teresa. You didn't have anything of the. Uh, in front of my sisters and brothers. Yeah, well, that that you do. You know, the younger, but the youngest have it easier as far as uh, yeah, they're coddled. Yeah, they're, they're coddled. They're coddled so I was at the end of, end of that. Your parents have made all their mistakes by the time right. they get to the youngest. Right. But they're more relaxed. Yeah. They're more but relaxed. Ambrose was was a wonderful, wonderful man, and it was so horrendous to see the horrific Susan death that he had. Yeah, it was awful. It was just. And I so was. How out, old were you then? I was out. I was out to here having Kathy. I and Kathy three. is Are number three? No, my first. We yeah, first. My oh, first so. child. Oh. My husband was in the service. Oh, I was man. back home living with my parents. Oh. and uh, For the first time? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, had, we had set up a little apartment, you know. We, we knew he was going in. The, we knew he was being drafted. He was waiting to be drafted. That's, that's what happened. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I can't believe that we were just so... Uh, Optimistic and getting married and having babies, yeah. and he, he was going off to war. <laughs> right, right. I mean, what is that? Tony, tell us about uh, Ambrose's relationship with you said society or his yeah. actual job. He was a tax consultant for a law firm. So tell us a little bit more yes, about that. Yes, uh, early on, when I guess when they first got married, when, when he married Beatrice, that was that was a sweet little story too, because my mother lived in a. Uh, uh, the beach community. It and she's was, Desmond. Yeah, she was Beatrice Desmond, and she had, she was an orphan. Yeah, she was an orphan. No. At uh, oh, I, when my mother first told me that story, I, I cried I so aware because of it. it's funny oh. that you live next to an orphanage. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, kind that's like really her. ironic. And her, fa her father died when she was seven, but she said that he was a, he was a mean man. So that's what she used to, she did. That's all mm -hmm. I know about my grandfather. That he was a mean man. That's enough. <laughs> and right. And he was much older than, than his uh, wife, which, who was Mary uh, Collins. And, Collins? Yeah. Oh. So that was Mary Collins. That's interesting. And, uh, and she came over to the United States. This is her mother, you know, Beatrice's mother. She came over to the United States from Ireland as a 16-year-old girl, and she married this 30-year-old man who turned out to be mean. But I think it might have been a planned marriage of some kind. Mm -hmm. like and he movie. had a child. He had a a, a fourteen year old uh, daughter, and she became a wonderful part of our family. We called her Aunt Annie, and she, and she, she if she hadn't been there, I guess it would have been very hard for my mother. But anyway, she uh, she was often. Tiny, what, oh. what area of Ireland, because Judy had told us once, but Jack and I... Uh, the, the, my mother's Sorry. family is from Kilkenny Kil County. Oh, okay. Kilkenny County. Yeah. And I'm not, not... County Cork? No, my father yeah. was. That, my, my father was from County Cork. Uh, is that say, near Kilkenny? I always Kilkenny? say County Cork. Cork. Yeah. <laughs> Cork. Is it near there, or...? I don't know. Yeah. I, I've been, but I, I had a very mm -hmm. bad vacation there, I, so I, I want to go back again and 
and really dig Didn't around. Did you go with K or? No, I didn't go with K. I think your mother. Did mom went. Mom went with K. Mom okay, went to Ireland. Ireland. Then. I didn't go. She Mom's didn't? never been to Ireland. Oh, she didn't go to Ireland. Right, we we're all supposed to go. I think when yeah. She later went on. to. Um, we're supposed to go not too long ago. Hmm. Okay, so what but anyway, was? Sorry. So I was. I, I backtracked and and wanted to see how their courtship went, and my father's people had been in in the country longer. You know, they he was second generation, I think, by then from Ireland also. But my mother lived in this uh, beach community, and they were. Uh, my father, my uh, hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Oh, look at this! How cute. <laughs> so we're going through the family lineage. Yeah. All right. Keep it going. Hi, no. Yeah. Oh. A county. So, so I don't. Know so you don't the, know what cities. I don't know the city no. or the town. I think town. it's, it's southern Ireland, though, isn't it? It's not it northern more Ireland. More towards the west. Oh yeah, it's southern. Yeah. It's the republic. Oh, where the fight, republic yeah. is. Now. And that's it's the great. Green we got part, in two right? minutes early. Because the orange part is uh, yeah. Protestant. Jack and Kenny. Northern Ireland is Protestant. Southern Ireland. Yeah. And there are a lot of Catholics. No, Alaska, Northern Ireland. But that's why the conflict is right. So great. Plus the British are still there. Right. Two hours. And, you know, oh, okay. so most nice people want one Ireland. One, right. and then uh, one free Ireland. Uh, uh, hey, Pauline, one of those British guys get out of here. Oh, I know, this Irish guy. I know, we're going to drop We're 12 inches low, so we're going to have to start rationing. It was Okay, you're going to tell us more about Amber. Okay, okay, back to the courtship. Quiet on the set. The courtship. So, as I said, she lived in Rockaway Beach all year round, and it was a you know, lovely, lovely, beautiful uh, uh, beach community. And uh, in fact, when I got older, I had saw where she I remember growing up that that Yeah. Absolutely. So he'd ride the trolley car. Now the, you know what a trolley right. car is. Oh, yeah. All the way down to uh, to Rockaway Beach, and my mother's older sister, Aunt Alice, who I'm named after. And that's Jenny Jafrida's mother. Oh, right. And that's where Jenny Jafrida comes from. I need a drawing. <laughs> Honey. So anyway, right. my mother never... Write it all down. No, take notes, no, no. My no. mother was... I'll, uh, I'll take notes later. My mother was, never worked out of, outside the home, but Aunt Alice had a job at one of the, um, the merry-go-rounds, the carousel. She, she was the cashier. And my father met Aunt Alice first. And then Alice came oh. home and she said, Oh, I met this Ambrose Hussey and he. And uh oh. So uh -oh. Why, Beatrice wasn't really. <laughs> in the picture. In the picture she at all. She was pretty shy, wasn't she? She was shy and she was never worked. and But she got dressed up this one night and came down on, a, on, on the weekend when Ambrose was coming down to see Alice. Well, Ambrose spied Beatrice, and that was it. Forget you mean Alice. he dropped Alice? Alice? Oh, he dropped Alice. He dropped oh. Beatrice's oh. city. He That's what the, happened to the sisters. He <laughs> dropped the sister and picked up the, the other, other sister. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Really what is this goal? Each generation this happens in the hussies, Desmond? Uh, share and share alike. Uh, now this so how did Alice, before we go on, Tiny, how did Alice like this? Well, she, she was disappointed, not, but she was the beauty in the family, supposedly. I look at pictures of her and I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe she thought she was the beauty. I don't know. Well, she had that hourglass figure. She had that. Oh. oh. My mother, well, like was, my mother was more, I'm built more like my mother. <laughs> less, less endowed. Character. And Character. Less yeah. endowed. <laughs> and Alice was uh, the a little buxom. In those days, that was really very good. That so. was a selling point. But anyway, uh, so they married, and of course, uh, my mother, uh, they moved in with the, their, um, what are those? her father, her, his father. Ambrose Senior Who's is it? in Jamaica. Who's mine? The mean one. Oh. Who's my no. no, that's that was another generation. All right, I'm getting. All right. Yeah. No, this, Austin. This is my father's father. Okay, your father's father. Father's father. father. All right. And he was yeah, a widow and had uh, a few children. I forget a bit. Oh, yeah, there's a few children there. We look. We we didn't stay in touch with. Uh, who is that? It's Kay and Mom. Is it? It's a little prop here. Yeah. Oh. Kay, Mom, and Tiny singing. Right oh, there oh. we are. Oh. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Let me zoom in on that. <laughs> we'll move the picture oh, a little tiny. bit so we can see. Oh, what were we Okay. So, well, so rock side to side. Aunt Kay in the 80s. Side. 
Baseball business. They owned. You remember this, Steve? Did, don't you from? You remember that uh, yes, Grandpa owned a baseball team. Yeah, I heard his that. Father, yeah. and they were the Bushwicks, Bushwicks. who who later became the uh, Dodgers, the Brooklyn Dodgers. They, they later them. became the Dodgers. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, something the like Brooklyn that. Brooklyn Dodgers. But anyway, uh, then my father. Um, she was dancing uh, in the kitchen. It was in the he porch. was. Uh, I guess he got a job with the uh, IRS. Okay, at that it was time. federal agent. Yeah, and by that time, I was the when I was the baby. That uh, I was the seventh yes. child. I was really the eighth child because uh, Beatrice. Beatrice is right. Yeah. We had the twin, so I was really the, uh, the eighth child. And then um, my father bought the house on in Jamaica. Well, they were, li were living in Jamaica with his father, but. On we Doi, Doi, and Doi Street? Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah. Sort of like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it as well as Have a couple of coffee and <laughs> have a glass of water for your daughter, and you have to take the dog out. That's right. <laughs> oh, she was Got good. It. She did that. New York. So, anyway, we moved, into, we moved into the house, and that was next to the New York and home. And my father was, uh, he was really a wonderful, wonderful man. I mean, like I said, he drank, but it, he drank in party situations. Thank you. We were never without, I mean, he was never without a job, and all during the Depression, we were not poor. Now, you skipped that whole we uh, did soup not, line, we, didn't you? Right, we didn't but, have Tell me, Mom used to say that she got a job through her dad connection. Oh, he had a connection. So who did he know? What was he where did knew, he sit in the he community? Knew politicians and he knew judges and uh, did I didn't he know do, all these people being a, just a tax consultant. He was he just he, no, was he just worked for a, that, he worked for a big law firm. Yeah, oh, but after, law firm. after after okay. after the IRS, I think it was who you knew. Yeah, after the IRS. The IRS. Patronage to go he, he worked for the IRS and then uh, he got a job with a, a big law firm in New York City. Yeah. So he had a commute every day. God. Did he take the train? Yes, he took the Long Island train yeah. and he'd walk up the hill, that big <laughs> hill. But now I, when I went back, it's not that like big anymore, a, is it? It's a slope. It's a slope. slope. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's better than a slope, but still. And uh, yeah, he commuted every. Uh, but then if he was like, didn't come home maybe one night. <laughs> So he was doing taxes. Yes, whatever right, he right. was doing. <laughs> and then never, nobody talked about it, right? Well, no, he would come home in a taxi. Oh, oh. The no. next morning? No. During late, the late, 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 late. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, what kind of taxing is that? No, a ta taxi. 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 <laughs> no, taxi. But he, we'd know that he had been drinking, if he, right. you know. And then, you know, all <laughs> my sweets, where are all my sweets? He called us sweets. So he'd oh, wake you up, up, he'd come home later. Oh, he'd yes, up. he'd always wake us up. Oh, Let's uh, sing Danny Boy. Oh, something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How about an Irish oh, lilt? Yeah, I mean, was really. Open, he was, uh, and so what would Nana do? Just come Oh, Nana would get furious and she would go spend another couple of million. And <laughs> <laughs> no, but she was. She, I mean, we she buy them for a coat. She had two fur coats. She had a mink coat. I remember coat. hers. Nah. She had a mink coat, and then she got those that leopard coat. Do you remember the leopard coat? No, I don't remember. And then she had a beautiful um, kid skin coat. Oh, she was all stuff. And then they had, you know, really wonderful friends and big parties. And so they were high rollers. They were, yeah. But like I said, he wasn't very smart with his money because. 
But it's funny how they brought he made all you guys up to be, he yeah, loved to be real age. practical and real frugal and... I don't know how we got to do that. I, I know, and you're <laughs> descendants of a high roller. I know, and uh, both Ginny and I and Lolly. <laughs> No, and that was it. We, 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 what? Became, became we, had, we married uh, uh, people that we had a struggle with, and from, that's, I think, where they we came got from money, on. and they didn't marry money. We didn't marry money. Teresa that's Gay. for sure. No, I, I think probably <laughs> if we had to speculate on mom's yeah, life, she probably anticipated doing yeah. well with the dance right. studios. Yeah. That would be my guess. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Because she, you know, she probably. Wait, I missed something. No, it's because if we had to speculate on mom's financial situation. She probably anticipated that they were going to do well no, by buying those dance the studios, season. and then oh. that, that guy flaked out yeah, on the no financing. No, right. No, 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 no. And then all of a sudden she was gonna, saddled with six kids and a husband who couldn't right. work anymore. Yeah. So yeah. She probably became practical. I don't know if she was, mm -hmm. you know... You don't think she was practical, practical before. before that? It's well, hard no, to my, tell, right? Before my okay, father really hit it good, I'm sure there was, not poverty, but, you know, pinching pennies and... I mean, and there, I never saw poverty, but I was at the end of the family when they had a lot of money. Right. Yeah. yeah. What, you know, uh, what right. We were really. Worried. And you, like your mother and Kay and Frank <coughs> saw a different a little era. Maybe yeah, sharing before. rooms or maybe handing down clothes yeah, or something. Yeah, that, that's true. Well, no, my mother even sewed. She's, she sewed a lot of the uh, clothing at that time. Now, did, didn't Anna work briefly? No. Not at never, all. Never. never not even ever. a little retail. Not at all. She never worked. In she whole worked. life, her whole adult mm -hmm. life. Did she work when she was a teenager? No. She never she worked, never worked ever. See this. Wow. See, she, 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 my she, kind of lady. Right. That's my Jeez. next life. My no. next life journey. I never worked. Ever. She had one job. She was a fiance, right? Well, no. no. <laughs> That she means I had fiance. two grandmothers that never worked. <laughs> right. Why, your other one did? One of my grandmothers that never right. worked. That's your grandmother. She's she other grandmother. She never worked or drove a car. But you know, no. my, my mother was the, uh, the housekeeper. She was the housekeeper for that big family. Oh, though. yeah, that's work. Oh, that was yeah. a big that job. Was, yeah. That was that a big job. job. It would be harder than going to work. That, of course. That, you know. Oh. And, and it, not, only, not only the family that she had, but, but her brothers and sisters, because they were often Oh, yeah, at that such a and she was the main stay of great. Keep. Her mother died when she was going to make her communion and confirmation, and the day she died, that's she, oh how weird. And she had made her, her uh, confirmation dress, you know, the beautiful Aww. white dress. When I heard that story, I just cried. My mother told me. In fact, I think I asked her to tell it to me over and over. <laughs> and then we used to comb her beautiful hair. She had hair, she had hair like your mom. My yeah. Ginny has my mother's I hair. I remember Nana's hair. Beautiful, beautiful hair. And we, we, you know, take turns combing it. Oh. Well, she'd gather us all around when there was a thunderstorm. Because <laughs> <laughs> she hated them and she got put fear into all of us because of that. That's the wrath of God. And no, but she, then we'd all, you know, be close by. And, and you know, that's how we learned to take thunderstorms. <laughs> Aunt Tony, what about the the address of the house? Yes. You know what, you know what Very happy. The old, the the old it, so I don't, you know, although I do remember 86 Victoria Street. But we had nice uh, streets. We had Ocean View Avenue. Because we were, we, we just imagined we could see the bay. The bay. <laughs> I mean, we were about 10 miles, of, 10 miles away, I guess, from, from the, the, the ocean and the bay. And, you know, we frequently go there. Yes. Yeah. What were these orphanage kids like? Oh, they were so. Yeah, they'd be at the gate. I mean, at yeah, the fence. At the fence, and we, we looking, looking, and we, we'd play with them though. Oh, we that's a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you guys would sneak, yeah. either sneak through or go around. Yeah, we'd go around because there was a way to, to go around. You can't and, keep the Irish down. Yeah, <laughs> and we all. Uh, your mother had friends from there, and I remember a little girl, Marguerite. Nobody liked her. And, they were mean to her. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Lute. She yeah. had buck teeth, that really, you know, that kind of really stick. To me like a real beaver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eric had to wear braces. So. Yeah. You know, but, uh, <laughs> no, and there was a lovely orphanage. Uh, they uh, went to the public school. They didn't have their own school or anything. So we would cut so through okay. the orphanage yeah, to, go to, stay the, there. go to the school. Well, we, so, I went uh, to, your mother did too. So. Well, she went to Catholic school first. 
she mom did? Yes. She, is that where she learned the Palmer method? So that wasn't P P.S.? No, she wasn't at P.S. She did go to P.S. afterwards, but first she was at uh, a presentation at the Blessed Virgin Mary School. We all oh, just called it St. Mary's, so sure, but it was after the Blessed Virgin So she, Kay, Frank, Jenny, and, Jenny, and, and Margie so. all went to Catholic school. And then when something happened, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Too many, too many taxi rides home. Like, what, whatever happened, she took those kids out of it and put them in yeah. public school. So when, when it was my turn to go to school, Jack, went to public school. You went to PS what? I went to PS 117. Your mother went to PS 82 because PS 117 was not built yet. And that was a little further. She had to walk a little further. And I was in an annex, what they called an annex. And it was a wooden schoolhouse. But it wasn't a little teeny house. It had two floors. The big house. You know? And uh, which oh, I remember the uh, wonderful uh, principal we had. She was Miss O'Brien. I think your mother. Okay, well, soon she gets done with this. So. The house on Hills, the house on 148, is, is still there, and you can okay, find what's it. Oh, yeah. It's what's still the there. I have the address. Can Mary Harry, so we have right by? No, oh, you don't remember, remember it? Still there. Tiny? Mm -hmm. Do you remember it on 148? Oh, yeah. 85, 65, 65. Is that the, the one next 85, to the 8562? Yeah, and Jamaica 65764. That's the phone number. Oh, that's the phone number? Wait, what is it? Jamaica 65764. All right, remember, Poplar 14042. Right, West 148. Is that a kind of... It's right by the... If you fly into JFK, it's right on the way to and from JFK. So next time we go to New York, we're going to... Here's the address. Is the orphanage still there? Here's the address. I don't think the orphanage is going to be there. Oh, the orphanage has changed to... It's a better request. No, it has some kind of a... Scale but the building's there. The buildings are there. That's amazing. You guys, the address is 8562 148th Street in Jamaica, Jamaica. Long Island. Long Island. Now, is that no, Brooklyn. Is it in Brooklyn? Yeah. No. No, it's Jamaica. Jamaica. And Jamaica. It's, that's Queens. Oh, isn't Queens. that Queens? Yeah. Yeah, Queens. Five yeah, blocks above Hillside oh, Avenue. Oh, yes. It's a borough. Okay, okay so top of the hill. Queens. The slope. You'll love and, it. In Brooklyn. You'll love it. I guarantee it. Oh, in the Bronx. Started here again. Okay, go ahead. All right. We, what was the question? We were talking about school. They were really oh, were going to school. Oh, P.S. Yeah, and we, my mother took all the kids out of uh, St. Mary's. St. Mary's, and yeah, a good they, lesson. they, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of discipline there. I, I don't know what happened, but too many nuns, rulers on yeah. the list. The nuns, uh, they, all, they both took piano lessons. K. N. Jenny. She did. She did. She, she took, took piano lessons. Yes, she took piano lessons. And it was 25 cents a, a lesson. Wow. And 25 cents? 25 cents. Whoa. For, is that an hour or half hour? <laughs> All in know. pennies? But I took piano lessons. My mother was, uh, was kind of selective. Jenny didn't take them for long, but oh, I took but, but, them for a long time. Did you really? Wow. And uh, I, really, I really played well, but then I let go. Oh. I don't know. I just lost it. And of course, now I wouldn't be able to play anyway, so. But I miss it. Oh. I wish, wish I I kept it up. But anyway, um, yeah, we, we had, and I, I must say, we had wonderful education in other schools. I really mean it. I, I think the stuff that we learned from uh, one through eight is like a junior, up to a junior college today. Can, mm -hmm. You know, I just compare what, what kids learn today. And then college, forget about it. High school was college. Bring a weapon into class. I know, <laughs> I know. Well, I feel like a lot of things are, the media blows up the negatives and not enough yeah. positive is reported. I know. Okay, how did, Beer, how, did uh, how did Ambrose like Bob Leahy? Oh, he liked him. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was funny with our bows, though. <laughs> Bows? Your bows? All bows. What did she? She had a ritual. She had a. She had a ritual. She. We had to. But uh, now I'm talking about when we had household help all the time. I mean, when I was a little girl, we just had washerwomen. I mean, uh, Josie and Mary. She, uh, they were sisters, and they were Polish girls, women, and they were they were lovely. But 
they, you know, you know how the immigrants work. The Irish came over and they were the maids of right, the previous right. generation. Yeah, right. so I'm not people. saying anything bad. No, you know, it's just that that's the way. It, after the Irish came, the the uh, Polish, the new arrivals, the it's Polish like the and the, Ita and the now. Italians, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, so the yeah, <laughs> you didn't catch that. Did Italians, you? oh, you're okay. Italians too. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but uh, my mother, we always had uh, household help. And uh, in fact, when my, my father and mother, they went on cruises to uh, Havana and... Uh, wow. Yeah. That was a big gambling capital, right? That was right? way back. So we got new clients. Uh, you know, had, had Mrs. Scherf, and Mrs. Scherf was the first German woman that we had to uh, uh, do any work for us. Well, she stayed with us the whole time with the, that they were gone. and. Uh, she, Mrs. Scherf particularly wanted to work by us because she had a granddaughter that was in the Otley Orphan Home. Two, two granddaughters. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? Wow. She, used to go out, she used to go out to the fence and see her mom. Oh. Yeah, her granddaughter. But anyway. Um, Do you think your mom picked that house, though, because it was an orphanage and it was kind of a karma thing? Or? I don't think so. No. I think my father bought it. I don't think she even saw she it. Knew, oh, I didn't know. think she saw it. You know, in those days, I think <coughs> yeah. most the husbands men kind of did that, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have a question. Now, going back, you said your mother was the full-time housekeeper and that kept her busy. Now you're saying there's all this hired help. Yes, but before. So, oh, see, before, okay, she before. was. I mean, I still even, I remember my mother doing really serious housework on her knees, scrubbing the kitchen yeah. floor. Elbow grease. You know, before really, I, I remember that. So yeah. she wasn't always a pampered, you know, whatever. But once once she got into right. it, got into it, she got into it big time. But, so as time went on, Ambrose did better for that. He did better. Yeah. And yeah, he'd come home late, like you said. She'd go out and spend a few thousand. And yeah, <laughs> well, you know that's right. A little exaggeration, but she was. You know, she was never lacking, and our, our home was gorgeous. We had, I mean, I don't even know what happened to all this stuff. Yeah, we were so careless about it. She had beautiful uh, Oriental rugs. With children? Wow. Oh, she, really? They so were, did we. <laughs> the, in, in about in 1935, what kind of car did you have for the family? We had a Hudson was our first oh, car. Oh, and how old was it? And I remember Was the, it a new Hudson? Oh, yeah, brand, brand new. Brand new. No and used cars the, for the Hudson. license plate was R74. I remember all these stupid Why R74? Uh, that, that, was, that was the license plate number. That was what was issued. It didn't yeah, I don't know. Oh, R74, that was it. That was it. Not, no, a, per, not a personal license yeah. plate. No. And, and, did, and Nana didn't drive, though. Oh, she drove. My husband. My father did. You're well, kidding! My father, my father didn't drive at all. Nana at all. drove. Nana drove. Why did so why Nana did drove beer, uh, Ambrose around town. All around. Well, that was, was well, this was you know because you did the subway from yeah. Then you did now. subway. Well, actually the train. The train. Wow. Then when train the, off a long then island. when the subway came in, so the subway finally came into uh, to Queens. Oh, it did. It, when I was uh, 12, I think around 12 years old, a nickel. A nickel to go into New York City. It was a riot. Oh. It was so great. <laughs> and my mother let us go in because Aunt Margaret was uh, lived, was uh, our uh, our aunt that was uh, single, you yeah. know, and she she had a job in New York City and lived in New York City. And my mother let she us was go. She worldly, wasn't she? She would, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. And she would uh, uh, meet us at the end of you know we take the subway into whatever station it was, and she'd meet. But that's how, it, and Ginny remembers this too, your mom. I mean, Ginny adored Aunt, Aunt Margaret. We all did. I remember she, her talking. Oh, oh we yeah. loved her. She was just a saint. And uh, she loved all the girls. She wasn't very fond of my brothers. <laughs> now, what kind, of, what kind of a driver, and do, do you remember Virginia getting her first driver's license? No, I don't remember that at all. Do you remember what kind of driver she was? I don't even remember that. She didn't have a license when she was single. Oh, so no. she never started driving until after she got she married? Got Maybe after she left New York. I think it was after she left New she York. Really? Because, you know, I don't remember you driving. driving. You didn't need to. Well, they had a car. They had a new Hudson. Yeah, we did. <laughs> My mother always, we always had nice cars. And then we had a Packard. Wow. Oh, new? Oh. It was it new? Oh, yeah. Everything well was new to do. You were well to do. That was after the Hudson? I think it was after the Hudson. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure now. I think maybe the packet was first and then the Hudson. 
Mm. I'm not really sure. Now, I mean, and we had a Buick after that, too. Now, what could, what's your most endearing shenanigan with mom that you can remember? With, with or any, any, or any smile. Just, I just, I, you know, well, you have, you have these, our special moments. These vignettes that come to your right. mind really quick, and I can all, always remember a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> and we had three stories in our house. Well, actually, we had four stories because we came in, in the on the basement, right? Yeah, we had the basement. We came in on the basement, and then we were on the like first, that. the bedroom floor, and then we had the what we called the attic. The boys had boys were up there. The boys were up there. Yeah. And uh, but the other side of the attic was not uh, finished, and these had trunks and. You know all every you know all the all stuff the, that all the crap all the stuff you know that you go through <laughs> and yeah. this was what I remember my with your mother and she was all you know she was the older sister and she had probably me and Jackie and Mary I don't know and we were up in the attic and she was helping us make a dollhouse believe it or not a doll a dollhouse we had a crate you know a, an orange crate with the thing of course and that was the two stories we had wallpaper. Some old wallpaper. We were, she was helping us put it on. I mean, she was doing all this with her little sisters. I mean, was that nice? Yeah. Oh, I mean, she was really. She and Kay she was. was uh, you know, I have very few moments like that with Kay. Kay was always. You know, Kay was clothes. well. No, <laughs> I stole right. my clothes myself. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't the only one. Yeah, you know, right. Big she had nice clothes, I'm sure. Yeah, but. Um, but uh, uh, your mother was, you know, always with with the children. And, oh, and I know what she always used to do, and it was so interesting. She would, you know, the on the sun on the paper one day a week they'd have a, a children's page, and you'd send in for stuff. And she was always sending in, writing the names in, and we. We'd get like little, I don't know, mementos or whatever Oh, like little educational yeah. things. Yeah, right, like oh. that kind of thing. And she was really good at that. Yeah. But of course then, uh, Ginny and I were the, um, we had a lot of bonding when she, uh, I was still in high school when she finished college, when she, when she was working for Arthur Murray. Yeah. And she would come home late. And I'd be up, you know, and everybody else was, you know, and we'd just sit at the kitchen table and chat. We'd have the Ritz crackers and peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And that's what yeah. she She always had Ritz crackers in the house and we were going. Yeah. Oh, that was, what a carryover. That was our, that was, and I said, believe it or not, I still do that. And I, yeah. I, I, so yeah. did we. Yeah. Ritz crackers. Yeah. If you're blue and you don't know what to do, why don't you go where fashion sits? Oh. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. But uh, okay, uh, you know, just she was just, just a wonderful sister. So you two kind of, it just seemed like you had a real we had philosophical, a mixture, I think, yeah, bonding, very much optimistic stuff that we both appreciated. And she would, you know, caution me about boys too. Nobody else ever cautioned me about. Oh, they didn't. Well, yeah, well, yeah. My mother would never tell me anything. You know, she, that was you're not, on your own. Yeah, right. <laughs> but what what kind of interests would you say that you and mom mm -hmm. shared together? What type um, of well, I you know, of course, we all had the music and right. the dancing and that, that and kind the of singing. Thing. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you know, our taste in reading material yeah. too were very similar. In, and what in do fact. you both like, or what would you say you both like to read? Well, uh, you know, mostly uh, novels. And, yeah. You know that kind of thing, and I know. I used to talk to her about, you know, different things that I was reading currently, and then she would go back and forth, and then, and I even send her, recently I used to send her a book app that I enjoyed. Yeah, I know, yeah. she said that you two would always yeah. exchange yeah. literature yeah. ideas. Yeah. so it, it, was, great. it was really nice, you know, and, uh, no. Did you read Angela's Ashes first, yes. or did she read it first? Because I don't really know. It was a good book. It was. Yeah. It was very sad. Oh, yeah. it was very. It was very. So, tragic. Very. What a tie into the whole. Yeah. Irish yeah. family. Yeah. Right. No, you. We. I. When I read that book, I felt like we were rich compared to the way those kids mm -hmm. were. Oh my God. They, but, um, and you know that movie never did well, did it? No, it was a great movie. Too dark. I, it was was good. Good. I didn't it was see good. it. You oh, liked it. I yes, did. We both saw it. I'm gonna get it. You had her. You had her. Great movie. Well, were you disappointed by the it's movie? A great movie. No, no. I so thought the movie was very good. I read both. I read the book right before the movie came out. And you weren't disappointed. The movie was. 
the movie was good, but I, I'm really good at separating the book from the movie. Me too. I mean, you have to act like it's something separate. Right. I think they did a good job well, of the movie. It, it really did depict the book. But I think when people like, go to the movies, as a general rule, they want to escape want, and they want right. to feel yeah, better. And they want to be entertained. Yeah, yeah, that that movie does not make you feel no, better. But, but it's see, right now. Right, the reviews told you that this is going to be tragic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait to the red light. Okay, go ahead. As Jack said, he wants to give a little history about this guy was coming what precipitated uh, became friends. Yeah, became the friends. initial oh, Mayo stress. reaction yeah, very, regarding Lynn and John, uh, you know, like, like and it had to do like something with kind of preppy. Uh, Eddie no, had no, sent Lynn a letter more like, more regarding yeah, like very casual. Oh, and you you want me to answer the question, right? right. Otherwise, no, no, she's gonna, like, we're going to contribute, right? Something about a Polish. And she went out. Yeah, sponsor or something. Then, All right. Is what, that you remember? From what I understand. Talk to her. From what I understand. That's all he said. Lynn found she out that Eddie's real lady. name was Mayowski. Right. That's what it was. And she wrote him. <laughs> In the spirit that we yeah, all wrote to Eddie, bad, remarked to Eddie about not, being not Polish. Like oh, I didn't know that your real name was Mayowski, you know, so going on and on and on about being <laughs> Mayowski. And what she didn't realize is that Eddie was very sensitive about being Polish and that he would turn on him when he found out. I guess he assumed that you were kidding him about being Polish. So what he did is he wrote a very scathing letter back to Lynn. It was like two or three pages dreaming our father over the coals saying he was, I guess, a loser or a mental case. Or was his family from around there? No, they were just, you know, he was a loony man. I don't know if he said you all have the same genes or something like that. Oh, no, 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 and um, it was very demeaning in that it was unnecessary. And that's when. Look at Mary's. That's when. <laughs> John McHugh took it upon himself to be very skeptical of any mail. Well, I think what happened is over the years we have all had to apologize to Eddie for things that we didn't really realize were harmful to, in his mind. And I had, if I had to make a judgment call on it, I think Mom asked us to apologize because to deal with Eddie's wrath was much more painful than asking us to give of ourselves mm -hmm. and anesthetize the situation. Right. I had to do it once when I was... Right. You made a joke. Yeah, it was at uh, Thanksgiving. Colleen and I were there, and I hadn't even been drinking. And I, oh, I, said, I made some remark about, oh, you know, that must be your Polish humor. It isn't like that. No. Oh, oh I didn't know that. I didn't she know he was sensitive about being Nobody Polish. Nobody knew. I, my uh, sister Mary had an experience similar to yeah. that. Yeah. About the. Uh, and it only takes one time, yeah. and then that's it. Well, he, he, he came over to me about a half an hour later, right. and he said, I don't, I don't like you your kind, kind in the house. In the house. And, and I, I want you off of the property. I want you out of here. So I, I looked at Colleen and I said, I think we better go. And then Mom came out. Oh, was she the said, she said, well, and she, but she said to me, what did you say to him? And I said, I said, I just made, I said, I made a remark about his Polish humor. But I, I guess I felt hurt because she didn't really defend me at all. But, you know, when I think about it in retrospect, it was probably too hard for her to go up against Eddie because he just cut Cuts her out her for a week. Yeah. <coughs> just not talk to well, her. He wouldn't talk to her, yeah, for long periods. So. so from then on, we I think we all learned through one way or another, or another yeah. you just don't talk about Eddie being Polish. I don't know if he was beaten up as a kid or just no, kidding. No, no, it had to do with the lending merchants. Mm -hmm. It had to do with, oh. yeah, it goes back to the Jewish... Well, that was another thing. Well, the Jews Jewish. were at the bottom of the pole because the Jews wouldn't lend the Poles the money back when the Poles were coming over initially. That's how I remember. So he was ashamed of being Polish because... No, I think it's more of uh, the situation where they were the newer immigrants. Right, so they were the bottom, they of, the were the bottom of the heap. They were the bottom of the heap. Which all of us were. Right. 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 And right. You would call the dirty Polak. Right. right. You know. The, the Irish would call the dirty Mick, and the Guineas were the Guineas. You Who know, were the Guineas? The Italians. Oh, Guineas. sure. Oh, and those the were the what? What about the Hebes? Who are the what Hebes? Are the that, that's the Jews. Jewish. Oh. Yeah, the Shinies and the. <laughs> Who are the uh, Shinies? Those were Jewish. Shinies? Where's that open? I don't know. There's all kinds.
kinds of derogatory names for every race. Right. But but every, you know, I use them all of them. And then yeah. so he and knew the every race one is nigger. I mean, look at that. It's terrible. And he it liked is. my son. Eddie knew that. Eddie liked your son, but he would still say things bad about you know Jews and kikes. Oh, yeah. Knowing yeah. my son is Jewish. Right. But he liked my son. So mm -hmm. he, he, what he did, yeah. he just colored everybody with the same cloth. Yeah. But if he liked you as an individual, it didn't really matter what you were. But then there are yeah, yeah, definite exceptions. Mm -hmm. So Teresa, what did what did Lynn tell you relative to to John not being happy that. about that letter? It was a very long letter, and it was very it was very hurtful. And but that John wrote, pretty much that was it. You know, once did, you cross that and line, and Lynn wrote a letter of apology too, didn't she? I think she most did. Most likely. Okay. I'm going to turn this off because they're out there and they're going to come in. i got to get this. Oh, you got to get ready. Oh, cute. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, oh. Else. oh. Good to see you. you. Oh, you're going to remember oh. to say, come on in. Oh, hello, John. What the heck of a man. Oh, oh. 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 nice to see you. Oh, oh. oh. nice boy. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, All right, guys, come on. Come on. you got all day. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, oh. oh. I got Phoenix all over the house. Everybody was looking very good. Hey, great. Oh, good. It's mine. It's mine. Oh, my And she, she got a Oh, is it? Oh, she got a shot. Let me just make sure where it Okay. Well, if, if you go where, if you stay right there, you're... You can move it. Oh, okay. Here's the handle here. Look. You can just move it. Oh, okay. I mean, you just move okay. it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Pauline. Oh, oh. We're just here to obey and serve. Okay. Wait till you hear our stories, man. She's given us a whole history of her. Oh, it's not too far. So does John. John matches. Okay, go ahead. I'll give her a I'm going to show you the same after. Yeah. Yeah, they're ahead of the uh, one of the sweetest one. Right. Yeah. The 17. Yeah. Hi, Lynn. This is your natural hair. Look at no. this. Yeah, that's that one. That's a color. Oh, it looks it's great. It's usually softer, but it's, you know. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, oh, this thing's tiny. I'm telling uh, Teresa, because she oh. has beautiful hair. What? So she's going to let it grow. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, I'm not sure how long. Tony, Tony, they start grow her hair long. Yeah. I thought you had heels because you were this much taller than everybody. <laughs> no heels, and she's still taller than everybody. I know she got the legs. Jack didn't inherit the legs. Oh, she got the legs. Oh, so we're out. Yeah. Out. 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 Out
Was it her bad leg that she scraped up? Or? I don't remember. It doesn't even matter. It's just a, a bad scrape. And, you know, she has trouble healing. So I'm cleaning it up. And I kept going back for more bad leads. And finally got her all patched up. And, you know, then we go to have lunch. And, of course, she's uncomfortable. And we uh, had to make sure we each had a milkshake. And then you know, afterwards I said, you won't just bring that one to yourself. I didn't want her to drive along. So we went in the car and I drove her. But I made sure we stopped at Thrifty's and I went in and I got this whole lot of and she looked at it. I want to go to the city and look at it. And you finally get in and you're like, right, no. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.